Oh my god, we Tesla beautiful body bounce them crazy. Gone. <laughs> wow. Legal. Uni. <laughs> Hi, Madam C, and I am hungover. <laughs> no. I think you should say it. <laughs> right. So, this is day two of. <laughs> this is day two of Modified Nationals, and um, we had a smashing time last night, and today it's quite late. So, we're entering as cars are leaving? Why are cars leaving? Check out the yellow Dodge Ram. But in the video that I filmed yesterday, which was probably uploaded a few weeks ago, um, there was a few parts that I missed. So we're going to try and battle the music and entertain you with those parts. Why are cars leaving? I'll, I'll accept it, that was cool. Why is everyone leaving? I'm not that late. The GTR's leaving in reverse, so is he actually arriving? Is that a so bad? So we're scaling the perimeter and we can hear the drifting. <laughs> I didn't even know there was drifting yesterday. Something else is on now. It's an R33. Yeah, it's entertaining. What are you doing, Sending it. Right, let's go in the show. So yesterday I did not get a chance to look inside the main show and there's a lot to see, including a colour flip R34. We have another R34 in candy red. Chloe is looking at potential colours where I make that one. You want that one. There's a 190E called Harold with some flowers. Even the pillows match the flowers and the engine and the grill as well. There's more flowers. Flowers everywhere actually, all over the engine. Look, there's more. Oh, there we go. Rocket Money 350 sets. And we have a 12 van with, let me guess, 12s? Oh, I wasn't expecting a flake. There we go. And from a 12 van, we have a Mercedes limo trying to do a 12. It's dancing right in front of our eyes. There's actually no one inside. I don't know how this is happening. Bet you've never seen a dancing limousine. There you go. Oh, something fell off inside. Oh, the control box. <laughs> it's haunted. There we go. Oh my oh, god. Jesus. It's not a luxurious limo. <laughs> it's not, is it? <laughs> and here's something a little bit different. We've got this split screen camper. Dragster. So you can see inside, or maybe you can't see inside, but the seating position's about there. And there's the engine and the spoiler, the drag tires on the back. I've never seen anything like this before. That is just weird. Oh, we're doing a bit of an upskirt underneath the Subaru. The seance very sparkly. As I zoom in, you can see the glitter. Oh, look, it's actually got brakes. Check out this GTR. It's like a Lego Technic set next to its bigger brother. And what about this? A slammed Nissan Juke in a color that you rarely see on cars. Oh, look, the Rice Civic is bringing Neon's back. Also, check this out. We have a Ferrari 250 GTR. GTO replica with an engine from a Ferrari 575 under the bonnet. There's the wide 300ZX we've seen a lot recently. We have the S14 down to a PS13 and then this candy pink S15 which I think looks fantastic. This is one of the cars of the show for me. There's a modified GI Yaris next to the A45 in high vis. We've got the Range Rover which is pretty low. 350 GT, a pink 350Z with the Rocket Bunny arches and then the very low Supra. And we once again meet this Ford Anglia hot rod. Oh, that's been squished and another hot rod of the day we got this rover p3 which is also a morris with double wheels on the back and a bmw diesel in the front we've got the carmen gear we've got a tesla with a volkswagen bora body there's another range rover and then a modified kia estate and of course at the end the silver i go but another part of today's show is a hot rod show and muscle car so we're in the arena for that having a look at a variety of other vehicles which include this very jazzy golf buggy but most importantly, this Mini over here that looks like one of those Hot Wheels cars that you can get like this. I've never seen a genuine car have a body like, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm looking at, but the, the whole body is up. It's displaying the dashboards, the seat has come with it, and then obviously the bonnet's gone up as well to display the V something. Yeah, I thought it looked like a V4. There's four cylinders in a V. Oh, I see. They have won quite a lot of awards. There are so many incredibly beautiful cars on display. There's some of the most artistic and just beautiful creations that have shown up with impeccably clean engine bays, so many V8s on show. And there's even an outdoor section for the hot rods. We've got this Lincoln cruising past. The belly was on the floor. Yep, it's bouncing. <laughs> so on this field are the American cars. This Ford, whatever it is, is crazy. It's like a 
transit hot rod or something. There's a ram pulling a caravan that's smaller than it. And what's not to love about a pink caddy? I'd love a pink caddy one day. Should we get a pink caddy? Yeah. yeah. And as I was coming over the corner, all I could see was a supercharger and the filter on top. That is a tall engine. Well, you just made a valid point. How do you see out the car? <laughs> that's probably the most difficult car to drive. 481 cubic inch engine, that's like 8 litres or something like that. And there's your visibility. Well, we've found an incredible lineup now, starting off with the Escort van. A very colourful Escort van, this one. Got this chap on the side. But next door to the colourful van, which is incredible in itself, we have an even more incredible Humvee, the biggest one I've ever seen, with a gun on its roof. I bet the neighbours hate that. Even the number plate spells big Humvee. Humvee parking only. Lesser cars will be parked on. We've got a few more lifted vehicles. This one's name's Hellboy. <laughs> As a Cadillac does a skid on the grass. Oh, there's Hellboy, that's why it's written. It's actually got a tow bar on it, oh, though. You scared the out of me when I was sorry. <laughs> Look what they're hitching up to the caravan. That is fantastic. Quite a juxtaposition. The caddy and then the modern van. Oh, yeah, and I, I bought feathers. Look at him, he wobbles. It's the find of the day. Go and show off the wobble. That, that's him. 30 quid. Best purchase of the day. <laughs> He's coming home with us. <laughs> oh, here we go. Put your artistic skills to the test. Please keep it clean and nothing rude. You could draw Feathers McCaw. I'm going or, to. You're going to. You've got a snail already. Shall I sign it? Could you hold Feathers up so I can kind of copy him? There he is. <laughs> I've got nothing left. Sorry, do you want some brie? There he is. Oh, you've given him a gun, have you? <laughs> <laughs> now this is a car after my heart, look, 350 convertible, roof's up, maybe broken like mine, probably isn't, and a 1 to 43 scale model of this car, I've got the blue version of that at home, obviously I've got a street KA on my car at the moment, and him. Oh, it's red! Oh, that goes red! Wow, feast your eyes on this Evo. Massive spoiler on the back, colour flip and wide body, and a lineup of Evos. In fact, all of them are pretty insane. And we've just been told about a car to pay some particular attention to that wasn't here yesterday. Peugeot. It's a Peugeot 108, I believe. Here it is. It's a Rat Rods. This is a 2016 car, so it's obviously not natural rust. He's made it rusty. There's some vents that don't vent on the bonnet. Wow, Kermit's holding on for dear life. Um, I don't know why there's a filter there. Is that is that actually part of the exhaust system? Oh look, the exhaust has a flap. It's got a taxi sign on the roof as well, which is wide into the door. Um, there's a bat as the gear stick, as you can see through the reflection. I've got Prolizer, it's just not very good. Uh, yeah. He's not happy. This weekend there's been quite a few cars like this. If you saw my previous video from yesterday, you would have seen a lot, and a lot of Novas as well, but this wasn't here yesterday, and I'm glad I got to see it. But we now have the moment that I've been waiting for. The music has stopped in the main plaza, so I can show you some of the show cars that are on display there. So we've got a bit of variety, the 996, the Anglia, and the Scirocco on Bentley wheels. We've got Little and Large over here, and then a few of the show winners from last year. We've got this Mark IV Supra. Hey, Remarkably clean Mark IV Supra next to a Mad Max Ford Capri. I'm not entirely sure whether these chains are road legal, but the car's got number plates. There's Rich's range that matches his RS, which is on the green light stand next to me, Alex and Lee. And then this pink 350Z is one of my favourites. Obviously, I do like brightly coloured Zs. And whilst everyone loves a white chaser, we have a brown JZX100 Toyota chaser. And whilst the awards are being given out, let's have a look at this E36. We awarded this the Dare to be Different award because, as you will see around here, it has an SR on under the bonnets. But that's not everything, because if you come around the front, it's an S14. So it's an S14 the front end on an E36. That is unique. I'm loving this CRX here. White Wheels obviously is a winner. And take a look at this EP3. Spoiler. Is that forged carbon with gold flake in it? Or is it just... Uh, maybe, I don't know, I don't know. It looks nice. And I love the colour on this Astra. It's like a pearl pistachio. What is going on here? Jockeys? I think a BMW's doing some donuts behind in the, in the field. There he is, sliding. So that was that from Modified Nationals that I attended with Greenlight on their stand with Alex Kirsten and Phil, the MX-5, Rich's RS, there's my 350Z and the Greenlight 370 next to it. Oh, there's a fire show going on. I'm missing content. <laughs>
about to conclude the day. We're now with the Duke as well, and the Boxer, and we're bouncing the Duke up and down. How about that? A little bit different. Oh, sounds like we've got some 2J noises as well. The sloop is revving. pretty much that from Modified National, so a big thanks to Greenlight for inviting me along in my yellow 350Z. I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on Instagram for the updates and highlights and photos that I take at these meets. But for now, thanks for watching.